Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and today I'm going to be reviewing and demoing for you Marc Jacobs new makeup line. So I'm really excited about this. So I went and I got a bunch of different things so that I could try it out for you guys and I'm going to be making three videos of this line and this first one today is going to be the foundation, blush, and mascara. So I'm excited to show you how these look on and also I've been wearing and playing around with these products a lot so that I could get a better idea of how well these wear throughout an entire day. So I have a really good idea about this line now just overall. And also, if you want to check out my blog, I'm finally starting to update it. And I usually want to post each time or almost every time I make a video. So I took a bunch of pictures and swatches and all that. So that will be on my blog, which I will link down below in the description bar. So I'm going to just jump right into the video and just kind of show you what these look like on. So I'm going to be starting with the foundation. And this foundation is called the Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. And it says that it awakens your skin to translucency and clarity. So here's the box it comes in. It's all fingerprinted up now because all their packaging has that glossy black, which I think is really pretty, but I get fingerprints all over it, so it's kind of a pain. And then when I was trying to take the cap off, like to test these out at Sephora, I kept like twisting them, and I'm like, this like line is junk because these won't come off. And then I realized you just pull it off like that, so hello. So um, cute packaging, I really like it. Um, the color that I got in this that I'm going to be trying out is 26 Bisque Medium. So here it is on the hand there. And just kind of rub that in for you. So it's not like a super dark color. So today I'm going to be applying this on with a brush, and this is a really good foundation brush, especially if you have dry skin like me, I really like it. It's the Sigma F80, and the only thing I have on my face right now is just moisturizer. So this foundation is very cool to the touch, like when it goes on it feels very nice. It has a pretty heavy scent to it. Well, not really heavy, but like, um, it kind of smells like some kind of like high-end perfume. I actually really like the smell. I am not usually a big person for fragrances in my foundation, but it really smells like so high-end and like, it's just a good scent, but you do smell it when it's on your face. So if you don't like fragrances, then beware of the scent on this one. So here it is on my face, and just so you know, it can build up a little bit because it is a little sheer, and the box did say it was translucent. So what I like to do is kind of take my finger, or you can use a brush, but I like to do my finger and just tap it into the spots that need a little bit more coverage, and that will just build it up even more. So this foundation I wore, and it seemed to last. The only thing was it was a little too dry for me, and especially when I find more like a sheer foundation, I kind of feel like... Oh, I may as well just use tinted moisturizer in this case if it's not going to hydrate me at all because it's pretty sheer going on, but it is buildable. But it looks really nice. Like, it's not totally matte. You can see it has a little bit of a glow in the finish of it, kind of a little bit of shiny, so you might not like that if you're oily, but I feel like this is a really nice kind of sheer foundation for somebody with normal skin. So if you have a normal skin type, I think this would be a good one for you. It doesn't seem like it would be... It seems like it would be hard to find more of like that sheer translucent foundation for normal skin because it would either be too hydrating or not enough and this kind of seems like in the middle. So I just kind of set it with some powder I already had because I want to try out the brush. Huh? I want to try out the blush and it's easier for me to show the color when I have a little bit more of a finished face look. So here is the blush I got and the color I got was Rebellious and it looks so pretty in the store. This package is unbelievable, so cute. You take it out of the box and then you have this little black pouch that says Marc Jacobs on it and then you open it up and here is your little blush and I know it looks smaller than you would think because compared to the box it's like, wait a minute, what? It also comes with a little brush in here. Not like the best brush or anything, but it says Marc Jacobs on it so that's cute. And then this is so cute how it opens. You just press this right in here and then it just kind of pops open. And it comes with a little mirror inside and then you take this off and then here's your blush. And this is a really pretty bright color and I've worn it a few times. I love this color so much and the pigmentation is amazing. So let me just kind of show you. But I also took some pictures of it on my blog. You just have to be careful. Use a light hand with it because you don't need a lot. So I'm just gonna take a little bit on my blush brush. And you really don't need a lot. <laughs> I have to exaggerate that point because when I first tried it on, I was like a clown. So I didn't realize it was going to be that pigmented. So 
So I did a couple variations for you. This one was a little bit heavier, and then this one is more of a sheer way to wear it. So if you wanted like a brighter pink, you could do brighter. I'll even do some more so you can see. Ooh, how nice. So you can definitely change how you wear it, but I love this blush and it lasted on me and I think it's so pretty and it goes on really nice. So yeah, big fan of it. I want to try out the other colors too. And then the last thing for this video that I'm going to be trying out is the Lash Lifter Gel Volume Mascara. And it sounded interesting being a gel and all. Very substantial packaging and it's really cool how it has the clear like on the bottom there. Just they did a nice job on packaging overall. So you take it out and then you have this brush that looks like this. So this mascara, it's like, it's kind of a messy mascara. Like when you take it out, a lot of like blobs and globs kind of come out with it and maybe it's because it's that gel formula. But yeah, it's kind of like, you gotta be careful with it. Like, see like this, I just pulled this glob out. Like, if you get a glob like this, you know, wipe it on a napkin or something so you don't keep putting it back in your tube. So as you see, I'm just applying it, and it's definitely separating the lashes. It's giving really good definition. A little bit of length, definitely not a clumpy kind of mascara, which was surprising considering how it comes out on the wand, but you don't really get clumps with this even when you put on a few coats of it. So here is after I did both eyes, just the upper lashes. I like this mascara. I love how it's giving length, but it still has a natural look to it, and it's not clumpy. So I don't know, I kind of have mixed feelings because it's not like the most dramatic, biggest lashes ever, and when you're paying a high price like for high-end makeup like this, you kind of expect that in a way but I do really like the definition of this one and how it's long and not clumpy so I'm not really sure I definitely want to keep wearing this and see like if it becomes one of my favorite ones because I do like wearing it a lot like it's a nice daytime one but it's not just like so natural that I feel like I don't have lashes with it so this was my first video review of the Marc Jacobs makeup line and definitely stay tuned because my next video is going to be the eyeshadow palettes and the eyeliners which I'm really excited to show you guys so definitely check those out and I'll see you guys soon bye